world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I have shared my experiences with you of what it's like for me to live with autism. Other times I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism and the media. And finally I will cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this video I would like to share my experiences of what it's like for me to live on the spectrum and I also would like to talk about other people's perceptions of me and I wanted to do that by mentioning that sometimes when people are having deep conversations or they're really really smart and they see me I'm highly impulsive I have hyperactivity and I have a short attention span they've gotten this idea that I'm either too disabled or I'm stupid and I should mention that these aren't just neurotypicals these are also people on the autism spectrum that are um, really uh, really grounded in uh, an area that they are hyper focused on and I wanted to give an example of just that so I when I was at Momocon over the previous weekend I ended up staying with um, a couple people and one of these people uh, was a close friend of mine who I've known for over a year and a half and when we were together um, I learned that these people are pretty uh, die in the hard video game fans I mean I, I knew that from them from before but when I was staying with them I learned that um, all they wanted to do was to attend panels that were video game related and they created this little structured schedule and the stru structured schedule and I mean my friend their friend their friend and their other two friends I mean all they wanted to do was attend things that were video game related and and when I would try to associate with them down in the dealer's room, or I would try to associate, talk to them, they um, attended to talk down to me like I was stupid. And I would try and ask questions about like, what does this animal look like? Well, what kind of animals are in this? Or like, like a, they were just te they were teaching me about a game called Animal Crossing, and I was trying to make sense because I'm a visual mind and a visual thinker. And instead of actually um, trying to give me uh, some tips and tell me, well, how does this game work? They uh, talked to me like I was an idiot. And they said, yeah, well, this is too hard for you to understand. I don't think you're going to understand. I don't think you'll comprehend it. And then um, I wanted to ask if you could play Zelda online. And they just cut me off. Can we have this conversation later? That's a very, very gray area. So. Uh, I want to mention, um, for those of you that are doing that to um, your own species or alien types and you're on the spectrum, knock it off, okay? That's ignorant and that's mean. Would you like somebody doing that to you if um, they were um, this high geek in physics? Um, and also, I'm not stupid, you guys. I am incredibly smart. I have one of the rarest eidetic memories in the world. I, you know, I'm probably better at math than most of the kids in my class. And excuse me, I do understand something. So, anyway, I apologize for being angry, but my feelings were hurt over this weekend. And I don't want to keep going into it, but the point that I want to make is that people are just, um, are so ignorant that they don't even care. They just uh, want to sit and assume that they're right all the time and somebody else is wrong, or they think they're more important or they think they know better. But anyway, if you have any comments or be, uh, you know, on um, experiences similar to mine, you are more than welcome to comment below. So until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.